Good evening. I wanted to talk to you about where the word alien came about in Scripture and why it's mentioned so much and we hear it so much. Alien could also mean a person that is not of this country, from another country. But basically, I'm going to explain to you why they use ali uh, the word alien so much, especially nowadays. I'm going to be in Ephesians 2, 2, 5, 8, 12. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the cur course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedient. We all know that, that the prince of the power of the air is Satan. He's the, he's the power of the air. You know, the internet, the telephones, the cell phones, the computers, all of those things. And he says, and the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved. For by grace ye are saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2.12, listen closely, it's very important. That at the time ye were without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. So, the reason anything that is called alien um, is without God and without hope in the world. So, alien can be a person or a being that doesn't have God in him. So, he, we would refer to him as an alien. An alien is without hope, without the love of God, Jesus in them, and no hope, and without God in the world. So these so-called aliens, this applies to those aliens, they are without hope. They are strangers to the covenants of promise. They don't have the promises of God. They have no hope. And they are without God. This is why Satan and his devils hate us so much. Because they will never, they don't have the hope or will never, never, ever feel love and know what that is and they are disconnected from God and that's why the word alien is used so much a the word alien is meant to frighten us but we are not children of fear we are the children of Father God and we have the love of God in us, in our hearts. And it clearly tells you, it says, Wherein time passed, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of this power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. That is also found in uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 something where it tells us that, that uh, 
the, the workers of iniquity uh, are doing their best to get the world to become an alien. To be an alien is to have no hope. To be completely without God in the darkness. So therefore it says that at the time ye were without Christ being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. I think right there it sums it up who the aliens are. They have no hope, they have darkness, they have no love, and they are separated, completely separated from God. That's what an alien is. And that's why they refer to the aliens so much. They are without God. They are without God. That moves me to believe if they are without God. They know and understand scripture better than we do. And they know how to defile us every day in our minds, in our bodies. And they find joy in defiling us because that's, that's who they are now. An alien is, is a person or an individual or a, or a thing, a being, completely separated from God. And they are controlled by the prince of power of air, the prince that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So that only moves me to believe that they are demonic. They are demons. And see... It says, according to the prince of power of air, they live in space. The second heaven is where Satan lives. Satan wants to convince us to keep looking down that he's at the bottom of, of the earth. I think in the dark space, there are, there's darkness there that we don't understand. And in order to get to the third heaven, we must break through the second heaven, which is demonic, which is where the prince of air is. And they have all the technology that we will never understand, ever. His technology, because he's the prince of air, is massive, it's vast. And that's how he's going to convince the masses to follow him and believe in him because they're going to be looking for a savior and how, how appropriate that he will show them and display his power of air, of technology. It's the, the word alien has, is so overused that it's become common word. It's so common that it's in every every household in the world. And that's how much he has spread the fear of the aliens. Only a person that doesn't have God in their heart would their heart uh, break down. And they don't understand. They are lost. They are the children of disobedience. So the word alien is a person or a demon or a being that is separated from God. Because he's so evil, he's so demonic. And his hatred for us is because they will never, ever, ever be of God. They have no hope, completely no hope. So no matter what anybody says about alien, aliens and the beings, they're there. They're in the second heaven in space. I mean, it's obvious that they're in space in the second heaven. Their crafts are in space, right? Their space crafts. 
They're aliens. They're, they're one heaven below God, one heaven above us, and one heaven below God. So, yes, and I'm pretty sure if anybody takes their time to look up into the, hev into the second heaven, they will see something that it seems foreign, and it is. It is. But these are without Christ, being aliens from a commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise. There is no promise for them. All the promises that God has for us, they are without. They are without love, without joy, without hope, without God in the world. And that sums it all up as far as the aliens are concerned. Their beings, and of course the lost people without God. So don't be afraid of any of those things. We are not a children of darkness, and the prince of power of air is not in us in any shape, way, or form. So aliens are forever disconnected without God. And that's why they hate us so much. And that's why they are they can't wait to make their presence known on earth. That's who they are. They are evil. They are without God, without love. They are in total, complete darkness. Go look it up for yourself. It's in Ephesians 2, 2, 5, 8, 10, and 12. And 14 says, For he is our peace and has made both one and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments containing ordinance for to make in himself or twain one new man, so making peace. So we are connected to Father God, so there's peace in us. God abolished, he says, having abolished in his flesh. He abolished, he separated the soul from the flesh. The soul has nothing to do with the flesh. The flesh is on its own. Once we've been saved and we have the Holy Spirit in us, we are separated from our flesh. So when we sin of our flesh, it's of our flesh. We're still, our salvation is in our soul. We are saved in our souls. Okay, again, I love you much. Bring it to Father God and always, always ask the Holy Spirit. I love you guys.